Today we're talking babies. Baby animals. Here to show us some of his new friends is the co-host from the original Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom, Peter Gross, everybody. Yay! Nice to see you. Nice to see you. What is this? This is a little in the back. It's the best place. It's a little four-month-old baby beaver. And these are really nature's greatest architect. Do you hear her? Yeah. Yeah, this is a beaver. We communicated with another beaver. He's actually excited because he's eating one of his favorite foods here. He said have one. But they create these wonderful dams out of mud and clay and sticks that create habitat for literally hundreds of thousands of other animals is, like is, birds. Is that and just excitement banana. for That's me? That's excitement, banana? yeah. Watch how he holds it, He's how dexterous he is with his hands. So he would hold small <gasps> limbs oh and twigs in the wild mm -hmm. and eat them. And then being the largest rodent in North America, get to be 100 pounds, he'll eat through small trees to create these stands and these Amazing. waterways. Oh That's the way I sound when I eat chocolate. Yeah. I was going to say, that's how I sound when I eat nachos. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so uh, cute. So, what do we uh, have now, next? Oh, my this? gosh, I love baby animals. The, the, this is one of the, the hardier oh, this animals. This is an, a, an a miniature oh, African a pygmy goat. You can go ahead and feed okay. him if you so like. This is an African goat? An African pygmy goat. And oh, I, my I, gosh. And they're great. I, I never recommend exotic animals as pets, but they're great. You eat weeds and grass and so they're good for yard. They can keep the yard clean. Exactly. Very thirsty. Yes, yeah. He's How many of these do they, they drink? To... He'll drink three of these oh in, in a day, and they survive. These three in a day? In a day. He did one in yeah. 10 seconds. <laughs> I know. He's still working on table, <laughs> He's He's still so working on table manners a bit. <laughs> so they're raised as a source of milk? 70% no? of the people in the world eat yeah. goat's milk, yeah. and yeah. if you're lactose intolerant, that's it's a actually a better milk for you. Exactly. So very hardy animals in there. Great. All right. African pygmy goats. So we'll let him go. We'll let him go finish. They just better go with him. Yes, That's right. He's, He's tipping the cups. Oh okay. my goodness, this is oh. exciting. What is this? Is, what's, is that this, a... This is... Okay. It's a okay, yes, yes, it is. This is. Okay, you kiss come, this one. Come, okay. right, <laughs> come, right, come right around this way. Okay. This is Hi, a sweetie. very playful little Hi, uh, gray wolf. Uh -huh. And I got you. I got you. Yeah, he's one of the one of the most successful reintroductory programs. Oh, what a, he's a lover. It, yes, this is the top of the food chain, and there are all okay. these stories about the big bad wolf. Mm -hmm. Never a history of a human ever being killed by one. How oh, big? Oh, good will, to know. How big will this get, one become? 150 pounds. Oh, wow. And they migrate get really well, and they're a very so important easy. part of our of our food of our chain. Beautiful. Right? And don't they yes. travel in packs? They do. How Large many, packs. How is that? And how they, many? Well, they they're a pack animal, and they stay in touch with each other by the howling that you hear. And boy, does he want to be petted some more. <laughs> That's yeah, right. I love you. I love you. I love you. Love you. you described him as playful. Yeah, and, and he's had he's, to be hand raised, so he's very, very attached he's very, to people. Oh, he's so uh, adorable. Yes. yes, he is. Look at That's those so eyes. Great. So when we hear them off in the wild, we know that they're doing their part in the natural world, keeping other populations in check. All right, well, we've got some more friends we'll bring out right after the break. Stay with us. <laughs> is here, and this is a zebu. Zebu, that's right. right. Originally from India, uh -huh. and now they use them in Africa as a milk source. Mm -hmm. And what's unique about the zebu, he has this incredible twitch reflex, so insects stay away from him, okay. and an amazing amount of perspiration that he produces so he can handle really severe hot climates. How big so, would he grow up to be? Well, this is a miniature, so full grown, maybe this tall and be a maximum of 200 pounds. I, I haven't oh. spent much time with zebus. I've you? never yeah. heard of a zebu before. <laughs> yeah. Actually, Not that many people have, well, especially in this country. So aren't the, like miniatures becoming very popular? Miniature horses? And they, is this? Min, uh, that's right. He's, here we go. Here, let's hey, tip, I'll take a tip it up a little bit let's higher. Let's go like this. There we go. He said before there we came is. back, whatever you do, don't, don't run out of milk. Naturally, I panicked. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you're doing fine. So okay. these, right. Anyway, so they can actually become quite affectionate and they're mm -hmm. a bit intelligent, so people do have them more and more nice. as pets. So why don't we let this All one right, go now? Okay. Okay. They right. have such big, beautiful go. eyes. Like, they feel like they're looking into your soul. Thank so you for Thank you. keeping the milk you up there. Thank you. Did good. <laughs> okay. What, what's, okay. What's, next? what's next? Oh, look oh at my this. goodness. Okay. Okay, here okay. we go. I'm ready with the got it. Oh. Okay. okay, oh my we'll goodness, plug, you got one? Plug that okay. right in here. here. Right, we'll plug this one in here. There you go, sweetheart. Oh, got great. Two. They now travel this in is packs, pairs. Large herds, that's right. And the stripes, now these still have a kind of a brownish color phase. When they're born, they're brown. Uh -huh. they're brown. And then gradually they'll get uh, this darker color like you see on their face. Okay. And they travel in large herds, and the stripes tend mm -hmm. to confuse the predators. Now, oh, it, because it, they can hide and camouflage? It, it just, it just it, uh, confuses them with all the movement of stripes. 
Now, this, this age, if there are predators nearby, the adults herd them in the center of the herd, the, the males and the stallions go on the outside and drive the predators away. And they sleep standing up? They sleep standing up, just like a horse. That's they're right. related to, wow. the, to the donkey family. Uh -huh. And they're t these had to be hand raised, so they're totally oh. imprinted and focused on bottles and milk. I don't want to raise the alarm, yeah, but people, I'm almost You're out of doing milk. fine. That's okay. <laughs> That's <laughs> okay. Um, so <laughs> oh, good transfer. Good job. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So are these going to be full grown? They, are these going to be full grown? I'm tilting it. Don't yell when the yeah. cows are in the studio. Oh, wait, no, tilt it. Tilt it. There we way. go. Well, don't tilt them towards me. Not too high. Just about, like not too high. Yeah. There we go. There you go. They'll be full grown in about four years. And At this pace, they'll be full grown in two weeks. That's right. That's right. They just constantly suck. Just, I mean, really, just like full, period. period. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Well, thank you for bringing thank such you. cute friends and creatures to us. Great to see you. Thank you.